The Richard M. Fullrath Awards recognize five young ceramic engineers and scientists in Japan and the United States. These awards are intended to promote technical achievements and personal friendships and to encourage greater understanding between our cultures. Dr. Shashank Priya. Dr. Edward P. Gorskowski III. Dr. Tomaaki Yamada. Dr. Takeshi Kobayashi. Dr. Hiroshi Sato. Congratulations to the Full Wrath winners. We have the pleasure of awarding the first European Ceramic Society American Ceramic Society Joint Award, which recognizes individuals who foster international cooperation between the two societies in demonstration of both organizations' commitment to work together to better serve the international ceramics community. What was the accomplishment the Society has made this year is the establishment of the new collaborations to the European Ceramic Society. And under this scheme, we have created a new joint award to recognize people who foster international collaboration between ESAs and ESAs. This inaugural award is presented to Dr. Anne LaRiche. Hello, everyone. I want to begin by sincerely congratulating Anne for winning this award. She is an extremely worthy winner. As Dana says, I am Professor John Binner, and I am the current president of the European Ceramic Society, a non-governmental, non-profit federation of 28 national and two associate ceramic societies, each representing the ceramists of their respective country, both academic and industrial. ACES and ESAs have many members and the interests of ceramic science and engineering in common. A memorandum of understanding between the two societies was signed in Daytona Beach in January this year to provide a framework for communication and exchange of ideas. As part of this MOU, it was agreed that we would establish a joint award to recognise people like Anne who foster international collaboration between the two societies. In particular, we are seeking to reward people who help us to demonstrate our commitment to work together to serve the international community. This can include leadership and service to further cooperation between ESAs and ACES over a period of several years. Service over and above expectations in a single event or activity. The recruitment of new members frequently writing and or reviewing for ACES or ESAs publications, or promotion of both societies' positive interactions in the ceramics and glass community to the rest of the world. The award is presented in alternate years at the ACES annual meeting during the ms &D conference in even years, such as this year, and the European Ceramic Society biennial meeting in odd years, our next meeting is in Dresden, Germany next year at the end of August and beginning of September. I hope that you will all be there. As you will all be aware, this year is the first year that this award is being made and I would like to take this opportunity to publicly record my delight at the recognition that this award brings to an individual who is so hardworking and who commands the respect of everyone who knows her. I am extremely sure that Anne Lariche will make a very worthy inaugural winner. She has certainly set the bar very high for all those that will follow. Very well done, Anne. Once again, my sincere congratulations. Thank you. Mr. President, Dr. G, and colleagues from around the world, I am very honored to receive this first joint award of the American and European Ceramic Societies. I thank my American and European colleagues for bestowing me with these awards, which is particularly close to my heart. 
Indeed, when I was elected president of the European Ceramic Society in 2013, one of my first priorities was to promote the relationship between our two societies. For me, it seems obvious that our two societies needed to communicate more and to work together to advance the use of sustainable and efficient materials such as ceramic and to provide solutions to today's global challenges. For this, I was very well assisted by Charlie Spar, at that time executive director of the American Ceramic Society, and I would also like to emphasize the role of the successive presidents of the American Ceramic Society with whom I work. Nick Brown, Kathleen Richardson, Jay Singh, Sylvia Johnson, and today Tatsuki Ochi. All of them were very positive and active in promoting the collaboration between our two societies. I would also like to thank the Executive Committee and the Council of the European Ceramic Society who have always supported me in these initiatives. We gently initiated the organization of the annual winter school at the time of the January conference at Daytona Beach and the summer school before the biennial European Ceramic Society conference in odd years or before the electroceramic conference in even year. Thanks to the Jack Trust and Glass and Ceramic Industry Foundation, it is now possible to financially support the registration, accommodation and travel costs of up to 20 students to cross the Atlantic Ocean to attend schools and conferences. Since 2015, 81 grants have been given by the Jack Trust to European students and 57 grants by the American GCI Foundation to young American Ceramic Society members. After the success of the various school and workshop, we decided to prepare an MOU in which our two societies formalized the collaboration between them in order to avoid any prior initiative which could be deleterious to our societies. This agreement was signed nine months ago in Daytona Beach by our two presidents, Dr. Tatsuki Oji and Professor John Biner. A new joint action is the organization of the ACS ESAS Common Symposium during the major conferences in which the European and American scientists could present their work and debate about specific topics. The first of these symposia had to be organized virtually, unfortunately, during the present MSNT conference, and I am very happy to have participated in its genesis. I would like to thank sincerely the colleagues and friends who have accepted to give a lecture on the focus topics during this new symposium. I hope that the second joint session will be organized this time live at the next ESERT conference in Dresden, end of August 2021, and we will be very happy to welcome you in Europe after this awful pandemic period. The dramatic time we live in today reinforce the necessity to work together to solve societal problems on a global scale and no more on a local or national level. Finally, to you, Dr. Oji, and to all who were involved in this honor in the USA and Europe, and all who have sent me their kind wishes, let me thank you again for this marvelous award. Thank you.